Yo, what's going on guys? Lee Sin got a really nice early game buff, making him a top 5 to top 10 jungler depending on your elo. His W now gives double the lifesteal and spell vamp at level 1, and it makes it to where you don't really have to max it second either like you used to, because in the late game it still has just as much lifesteal and spell vamp as it used to, but in the early game it's now doubled. So now you can kind of get away with going E max second and being alright. We look for the ward level 1, looks like they're invading me as well, so I'll just hover in between. Invades are so common these days. For our runes, we have Conk, Triumph, Tenacity, or Alacrity with Coup de Gras, Free Boots, Cosmic, Attack Speed, 80, and Armor. Obviously, with the Flash Smite, Green Jungle item. Green Jungle item is pretty dang good. I like it a lot. We'll see if they start on my blue buff. I can start on mine if need be. Not a huge deal. Lee Sin is not really a full clear jungler, although he can. Uh, you're typically going to do three to four camps into an invade, three to four camps into a gank. Best gank is probably going to be Cho'Gath, if I had to guess. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, cool. They didn't actually start on it. We'll go ahead, auto into Q on the first one. Into RQ2. Every time you use an ability, your next two auto attacks have increased attack speed. And they're empowered. So level 1, we have 4 empowered autos. Level 2, we'll have 8 empowered autos. And level 3, we'll have 12 empowered autos. You typically only need 10 empowered autos to stay constantly empowered. Alright, so we'll go ahead and Q. Auto, auto. Give myself the shield. We basically ended up bearing one of our empowered auto attacks. Not a huge deal. As long as you're getting most of your empowered autos off. Especially since we have blue buff, our cooldown. Our ability haste is pretty high. If you go for E level 2, that's totally fine. You'll farm slightly less healthy. Not the end of the world. Looks like Jarvan started on his red buff. Jax needs to be careful of that. Big time. It's all my empowered autos. Alright, we're just going to walk away. Should be able to catch up. Bop. We could probably invade him even without red buff. Lee Sin's good enough at this point to solo most junglers. As long as you have high health. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try it. I'm feeling cheesy. He has red buff. Jarvan's also hyper mad. I think we can pull it off. Hey friend, he's tanking the blue buff there, missed it, that sucks. We did get his flash though, so that's pretty good. I'm not sure if Silas is coming for me or not over here. It's hard to say. Looks like Brand came over. We can go ahead, take red, gank mid. <laughs> yeah, Jarvan's taking the blue buffs as we're attacking him. Puts him in a tough spot. Down goes mid. Whenever you're doing your camps, you want to try to use your Q and your E pretty early once you're level 3. That way you can get them starting on cooldown. They start going on cooldown from when you first activate them, not from when they're technically completely finished. Auto, auto, W, auto, auto. Could play for opposite side scuttle since we're already here on Krugs. I'd rather just take these. Could also hover the Jarvan gank. He might hug that wall. Some players don't know that you can do that. If you hug the wall on the wide side in your scuttle, you can go around it and it won't be able to see you. All right, we need to gank. Typically your first back will be a pickaxe or an iron spike whip, what you're looking for. You can come up behind these guys, perfect. We're dashing to him, double slow is fine by me. He's slow, so we land Q for free. We hold on to Q until they flash or until we have to use it because we can't reach him anymore. Double E for the slow. Walk him down with red buff autos, down he goes. And that's Lee Sin gank in a nutshell. As long as you can come up behind people, his ganks are insanely good. If you're having to use your Q at max range just to get to them, then that's a bad gank. Odds are it's not going to pan out and you're going to waste a lot of time. We're at two kills, we huge back. Once you kind of have a gold lead over the enemy jungler, you need to 
push the mindset of being aggressive and punishing them. So for example, we just saw Jarvan go top side. Uh, we should probably just hit Wolves, Gromp, gank top because Jax has freeze. If Jax didn't have a kind of lane control right now, even if he's low health, then I would just take Wolves, probably invade Jarvan top side, try to kill him. It's a little tricky with Jarvan being aggressive with him because he can always kind of escape with his dash. It's going to be hard for me to stop that efficiently. Yeah, we can easily kill them top. I'm really fed. I'll leave this right here. Jax gets the stun. I'll flash, get my slow. That's totally fine. He needs to freeze and thin like big time. Oh, he's trying to turn. We'll shield the Jax, auto him down, smite the minion, iron spike whip, and the Q. Whenever you W yourself or your teammate, it shields. If you W to a minion or a ward, it doesn't shield, so keep that in mind. Okay, we've got the whole wave push. We see Jarvan red buff is coming up. Jax should TP back. I'll leave a ward here and kind of see if he's going to start it. We need to be aggressive with our gold advantage. I can grab Scuttle. We need to use our double W. The second W gives you the spell vamp and life still. I'm trying to heal off this Scuttle. Not sure where Jarvan went. He really should be on his red right now. Oh, his bot side. We smited it in midair. I'm trying to get more damage onto this, take it as fast as possible. I'll use my W2 and then I'll use my Q and my E, get that extra healing and spell vamp. I'm not too worried about my energy here because I have a lot of space to walk. About to hit level six, I just need a minion to die. Like any minion to die. Auto R, E, auto E, auto Q. Nice. We should really take something on here. Use some abilities, take it a bit quicker. We can kill him in between the turret. Stay. Yeah, this is free. We just kind of stay and hover this. He can't come back. We're already in the area, so we can absorb resources and still stop from coming back. And since I'm ahead, even if Jarvan shows up, we should win it. It's a win, win, win. I don't have to waste movement. That's huge. We got his flash. I'm still getting to farm this. Q auto E E. He slowed up. I gotta kind of play a little safe now. I'm missing a lot of health. Mm, Dax almost was able to kill him there. We dodge that, get him with the E-slow, walk him down. Ooh, Silas is here. Hmm, I missed. I might be able to suicide. Ooh, well played from the Jax. Jax actually saved me hard there. That's huge. Jax needs to reset. We can kill Cho again. I was going to try to get to the minions. Yeah, it's not really able to get back to wave yet. We spammed out our abilities too quickly there, so we stopped getting our empowered autos. Every time you use an empowered auto, it gives you energy back as well. Uh, that's too many. Mm. It's so many minions, but he's doing a good job of pulling it. I didn't realize he was going to be able to do that. He's probably mad I wasn't here. I'm just going to R him, walk him down. That's fine. A lot of times when you R, you're going to Q immediately after because it guaranteed lands. I wasn't in a hurry though. I was just going to walk him down. There's no need for me to really RQ there. We'll go ahead and buy a control ward. 
push out for red buff when you start playing for drags we have a gold advantage we have to push that gold advantage Jax is so far ahead even if he gets ganked 1v2 he should win without dragons Lee Sin's late game's horrible dragons is the only way to ensure you win kind of 30 minutes into the game what i'm gonna be playing for here all right cool what's up Oh, it's still walking away, dang. There's the Silas showing top side. Is this warded? Mm, probably. Yeah, it's warded for sure. Jarvin's in the area. This is a fresh scuttle. Oh, yeah, he's literally here. Zaya's low is the problem. That was a great Heim stun. He set that up. Hmm. That's rough. There's not much we can do there. I could force the dragon. The enemy bot lane's really low. The Bran and the Ezreal. They might know I'm on dragon is the thing. Shouldn't be a huge deal. Like I said, they're kind of low except for Ezreal. The Bran, at least. Ezreal's healthier than I remember. Smite this at 900. Q smite. My R's up. Easy gank. You can just war dash into him. RQ. He seems to know I'm here. He's just scared. I'd prefer to stay out of his vision. Mm, Jax is in a bit of a pickle. Got it. Jack should be able to just walk through. Oh, I missed. This is weird. Don't really know why Brand's here. I need a double gore drink. Arm away into Q. So got blocks. Get him with a double E. Flash for it. He's dead. And you get with the gore drink. He, he at least didn't get his R stack off me and Brand Silas our top side. Because we got down our gore drink W right as he was R casting. Jack should live here. That's honestly not that bad. Because we're going to get bot plates. So it only kind of sucks because they got my shutdown. That's what really sucks about it. They're very magic damage heavy. So I'll go for Mercs. I need to take Carol now. Yeah, Chogas in trouble there. The Divine Sunder healing is big, plus he's got the grasp healing. Just walk it out. I don't need to auto it anymore. We could go for Harold. Chogat's based. Their mid's kind of low. Brand roaming again. I'm going to go Emac second because of the W buffs. You have to slow. Autumn down into Gore Drink. <laughs> I autoed the turret. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for Brand. That was so troll. I accidentally autoed the turret once or twice and it completely ruined everything. Ripperoni pepperoni, man. Fat hitbox, you gotta toggle your select champion only. Otherwise the turret's just kind of fat. Well, we got bot lane turret. I trolled though. I trolled that pretty uh, hard. Yeah, going Shojin second in the cleaver. It's Leeson's best build at the moment. He's probably on Herald right now. He's going for Cho. Cho doesn't really matter though. I 
Now we're gonna go, buddy. I have it on toggle champions only. You can't hide behind the herald, my guy. Yeah, it looks so troll what he did, but I didn't miss a single auto. Whoa! Look at me not missing autos. Gonna use the E Gore drink. No little oh there was a little raptor in my way. I didn't even see him. Why are these guys hiding under turret that's almost dead? Mmm, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, I shielded myself, we're chilling. See if his blue's up. I like it. Dragon coming up in 40. Should probably base for that. Get my gold spent and health back. Jarvan is a full item. He's really not behind me at all. Even with less CS and less kills and less assists. He's a Gore Drink tier 2 boots. I'm Gore Drinker tier 2 boots. Bit of a late recall. I think it's worth to spend uh, 1200 gold though. Oop. Gonna keep going for the Emac second. Might as well for the damage and slow. The slow goes up by 15% level per level, which is really, really nice. Helps you get in way more auto attacks. Don't really need to waste autos on the small one. Multiple points in E plus Gore Drink. Got Harold for a little over two more minutes. We could end this game early. Big time. Nice. Bring this bot bot lane. No wolves is what it is. Oops, wasn't trying to ward there. I have muscle memory to spam oracles whenever I lay Herald because you get a free oracles when you do that. All right, let's go over here. Wow, we actually didn't even get the turret. Hey, Brand. He's going to stun me if I start flying in midair. I got to let him go. We're already on two drag advantage as long as we don't die. The game is secured. Stay alive. Their win con is me throwing shutdown gold again, and then they fight for their drag, win the fight, and now then we stall out heavily. I think these are up. Yeah, I think he's right here though. Oh, well he was. Hey, so we have to get him to eat. I'm gonna argue this way, buddy. All right, down you go, big guy. Could flash smite this guy but oh that's it they quit we'll take it man let's get the graphs damage dealt damage taken and runes looking at damage dealt enemy champions we did have the most in the game a little surprised by that damage taken most in the game very surprised by that self mitigated almost the most in the game not bad runes high value all in all at least in the early games quite a bit better as long as you don't farm more than three to four camps then you look for an invader or a gank Pressure your leads. He's a pretty solid. If you guys enjoyed this Lee Sin video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.